What a beautiful lawn! This video is brought to you by viewers like you. Thank you. Be sure to subscribe and help get this video to 2,000 likes. And I say, hey. Arthur recalls all the stupid crap Francine has pulled over the course of her life, like the time she woke her neighbors at the crack of dawn with her god-awful percussion skills, or the time she used her bedroom as a canvas for her elephant mural. Huh, a monkey drawing an elephant. Go figure. But Arthur says that's still not as strange as the time Francine was forced to be nice for a whole week. We then cut to the kids playing roller hockey where Francine single-handedly creams the competition. Her teammates call her out for being a ball hog. Francine says she's the only competent player on the team and challenges the others to do better. The team goes on to prove Francine's point as Muffy fumbles the final shot and ends up losing the game. The kids skate home with their tails between their legs as Francine chews out her teammates for screwing up the game. Why did you tell Muffy to shoot? You know she's just about the worst player there ever was. And with that line, Francine loses any and all audience sympathy for the rest of the episode. Yeah, you know things are fucked when you start feeling bad for Muffy. Francine is somehow surprised when Muffy gets offended by her insults and goes to confront her. Muffy chews out the big mouth bad sport for not sharing the ball and bullying everyone on the team. I'm one of the nicest people in the whole school. And if you don't know that, you're a dope! Okay, bitch. Actually, she might be right, though. Yeah, as much as none of us want to admit it, every character on Arthur has had their fair share of asshole moments. Some more than others, obviously. Muffy bets Francine she can't be nice for an entire week. And you can't tell anyone why. Francine takes the bet as she's keen on winning Muffy's Princess Peach Watch. Wait, so the Mario Brothers exist in this world? You're telling me the show was on for 25 goddamn years and we never got a single episode of the characters playing Super Smash Bros? What a goddamn waste of potential. The next day at school, Francine is forced to bite her tongue when Arthur shows up wearing an eyesore for a sweater. My other sweater's dirty, so I got stuck wearing it. <laughs> Damn, dude really does only have one outfit. Over the next few days, Francine commits to the goody two-shoe charade as she treats her friends with care and respect for the first time in her life. Francine's friends start to worry about her after Muffy ruins her favorite pair of pants and doesn't immediately get her ass kicked. Muffy delights in Francine's frustration as the ill-tempered twit has no outlet for her rage. Muffy strong-arms Francine into inviting her to dinner and forces her to be nice to her family, who are surprised the eight-year-old actually has manners. It's been over five days and everyone is terrified of what Francine has become, a decent person. Arthur, I'm scared! The brain explains how it's only a matter of time before Francine explodes in a fit of rage. Maybe don't shake the bottle like that, though. The kids decide to make Francine mad on purpose so she'll go back to normal. They do everything in their power to piss her off, but only manage to make her even more pent up than she already is. The kids fear Francine could blow her top at any time. Literally. <laughs> Anyone else get nightmares from this scene as a kid? Like, it's not even that her head pops off. It's that the head keeps talking afterwards. What a beautiful lawn! Ugh. Arthur and Buster go to confront Muffy, who reveals Francine still has one day left to win the bet. Arthur realizes they'll have to play tomorrow's hockey game with the pacified Francine. Muffy realizes too late she's made a horrible mistake. During the playoffs, Francine goes full ham as she avoids playing and actively helps her competitors score on her own team. Muffy decides to call off the bet and offers Francine the watch. Francine gratefully accepts, but says she still wants to see the bet through. That is until Binky crashes into her and smashes the watch to pieces. Francine loses her shit and takes out her anger on Binky's team. Francine's team wins the game as her friends are happy she's back to her old bitchy self. Muffy goes to congratulate Francine, who's way too eager to start another fight. The girls make up and go to bully Binky into buying Francine a new watch. C'est la vie. Let's review. Francine refused to share the ball with her teammates and chewed them out when they tried to join in on the game. She insulted her best friend and was surprised when she got her feelings hurt. When Muffy bet her she couldn't be nice for a whole week, Francine used every bit of strength to not bite off her own tongue. Things only got worse when her friends started to worry about her and tried to make her mad on purpose. Francine took the bet so seriously, she actively tried to lose an important hockey game just to spite her best friend. And even when Muffy called off the bet, Francine refused to give her the satisfaction of getting mad, until it became personal. At which point she unleashed the fury of a thousand sons upon the poor hockey players that had the misfortune of standing in her way. F.U. Francine. And I say, hey. hey, I have a Patreon. 
Sign up at patreon.com slash metniff to get your name in the thank you credits, along with early access to every FUDW and the chance to vote for future episodes. If there's a movie or show you'd like me to talk about, top-tier patrons can commission a review for my channel. Check out the link in the description to become an FUDW superfan. And I say, hey, for the wonderful kind of day. If you can learn to work and play, and get along with each other.